Namaskaram and Swagadam, dear friends, to learn Malayalam through English. In this episode, we are going to learn simple future tense in Malayalam. So, let us get started. So, simple future tense, when is it used? So, simple future tense is used in a couple of scenarios. And we are going to the first scenario where it is used to predict a future event. So something is going to happen in future and we are predicting that. As an example, one, it will rain today. It will rain today in Malayalam is in the Mara Payum. In the Mara Payum. So Mara is kind of a difficult word, I know, but rain is Mara and to rain is Mara Payuga. So, we says in the Mara Payum. The second example, you will receive the letter tomorrow. Ninaku nale kattukittum. Ninaku nale kattukittum. You know most of the words in the sentence like Ninaku is you and nale is tomorrow. Kattu is letter. Kittum means will receive. So, you said that um at the last will denote the future sentence, future, simple future tense. Okay, let us go to the next scenario. To give promises or offers. So, let us see the example. We will see tomorrow. Namukku nale kaanam. Namukku nale kaanam. So, now you will start thinking. So, previously it was kaanam. How did it change to kanam? So here you are offering something. You are giving a promise. So that changes the sentence to namak nale kanam. I can ex I can explain it in the next sentence. So see, see this sentence is I will do the homework. I will do the homework. So suppose this sentence is said by me that I will do the homework. Then it means I am. I am stating it as I am going to do this. So, Yan homework chiyum. Yan homework chiyum. But, suppose you are offering someone. Suppose the scenario where you are offering your siblings or your friends that you are going to do their homework for them. Which is not so good, but still. So, you are offering that to them. So, you says, Yan homework chiyum. Like I am offering it, Nyan homework chaya. I will do it for you. So it means like you are offering, you will do it for them. Or sometimes, let us suppose this scenario where your mother scolds you and there is no other way you have to do your homework. So you are giving that promise to your mom saying like, Nyan homework chaya. Nyan chaya. So that that is the second scenario i like to touch base this scenario also where the things are definite and is determined like this is going to happen the action is going to happen in future but this is definitely going to happen so let us see that example we will see tomorrow nammal naale kandirikkum so you see the difference there nammal naale kandirikkum which means Definitely, this is going to happen. This is definite. There is no change. And there are two other ways we, you can say this. Nammal nale thirchayayum kandirikyum. Thirchayayum kandirikyum. So this thirchayayum, the word is like an adverb. Like for the, the verb is kanuga. The verb form is kandirikyum. So thirchayayum is definitely. Definitely in Malayalam. So this is going to happen tomorrow that is definite nammal naale urappayum kandirikkum urappu in malayalam is promise so i am promising you this is going to be definite that we are going to see tomorrow that's one example second example in that definite form is i will do the homework nyan homework cheyidirikkum nyan homework cheyidirikkum or you can say, Nyan Urapayum or Nyan Tirchayum 
ഹോംവർക്ക് ചെയ്തിരിക്കും ഞാൻ ഉറപ്പായും ഓർ തീർച്ചയായും ഹോംവർക്ക് ചെയ്തിരിക്കും ലാസ്റ്റ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഐ വിൽ ഗീവ് മണി ടുമോറോ ഞാൻ നാളെ പണം തന്നിരിക്കും ഞാൻ നാളെ പണം തന്നിരിക്കും മണി ഈസ് പണം ഞാൻ നാളെ പണം തന്നിരിക്കും ഓർ യു ക്യാൻ സേ ഞാൻ ഉറപ്പായും നാളെ പണം തന്നിരിക്കും ഞാൻ ഉറപ്പായും ഓർ ഞാൻ തീർച്ചയായും നാളെ പണം തന്നിരിക്കും ഐ ഹാവ് യൂസ്ഡ് ഹോംവർക്ക് ഇൻ ഓൾ ദി സെൻറ്റൻസസ് ബട്ട് സ്റ്റിൽ ഹോംവർക്ക് ഹാസ് ഗോട്ട് എ മലയാളം വേർഡ് ഓൺ ഇറ്റ്സ് ഓൺ സോ ഐ ലൈക്ക് ടു സേ ദാറ്റ് യു ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഗൃഹ പാഠം ഗൃഹ പാഠം ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹോംവർക്ക് ഇൻ മലയാളം ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് വാസ് എ ഷോർട്ട് ചാപ്റ്റർ but before going i have a question for you so use the comment section below to answer this question how are you going to say that i will learn malayalam because you people are so definite about that because my videos are there for you so and my clue is that to learn is padikkuga in malayalam padikkuga so give me the answers using the comment section below and like this video and share with your friends and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you for watching nani namaskaram